Hello all my Aquariuses, how are you guys doing? Wow! Welcome to windy season in South Africa. Did you hear my door banging? If my kids like leave the door open, it's just go boof. Well, there we go, windy season, August. Well, the reading is from the um, 19th to the 25th of August, 2020. So let's get into this. I'm gonna call in your spirit guides and your angel energy, please, to come in and guide us through this reading for all my Aquariuses. I'm gonna be looking at past energy here, present energy, and I'm also gonna get out a spirit guide message with regards to what you can expect in the future. There is also an extended as well, if you wanna check that out, that looks into the next three months. There is a link in the description box below. Aquarius, if this is your reading, you will know from the first two cards I take out. Um, if it is your reading, um, hit that subscribe button. If, if you want to, though, I mean, duh. It's the stuff they tell us on YouTube. They're like, tell us, tell them to hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. I'm like, really? Like, they don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? If it resonates with you, you can. Um, let's get into this, Aquarius. Let's get your past energy and your present energy out. And um, you can also reverse energies, by the way. So a lot of people say, you're actually talking about it the other way around. And I'm like, yeah, it happens a lot, especially for the general readings. So let's see spirit guides and angel energy. Um, let's get a card out. This is usually your angel um, messages coming out in these big purple cards, like them, oracle, oracle cards. The spirit guide message comes from this, this one here. So let's have a look and see. Past energy, what have you been dealing with? So who's been alone there, Aquarius? Um, solitude, in silence, peace prevails. So you may have been alone. I may be talking to an Aquarius who's been alone for a while. Um, because that is like the Hermit card. And it is a card of sometimes a bit of loneliness. Um, but, you know, being alone is not always the worst thing to be. You know, we learn a lot from ourselves when we are alone. Um, but at the end of the day, it does get a bit lonely. So that's what I'm kind of picking up on there. Let's look presently. Something good is going on here. Because you've got joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Hello. Did you meet somebody new? I'm just saying, this is very different energy. Something has recently occurred. Um, the past energy can be back maybe a month or two even to three months, because I look in the future, in the extended reading, I look up into about three months into the future, sometimes two to three months, what you can expect. This is present energy. This is a very happy feeling. This is very happy. This feels fun. This feels light. This feels youthful. This feels like having fun, you know, running around in the glitter or there's some snow or feathers. I don't know what's falling there. That looks like fun. That looks like a bit of loneliness there. Um complete opposites right there. Let's have a look and see what it has been going on with my Aquarius's in the past spirit guide. Gosh, if this is you guys, I'm so happy for you. Really, just see such a beautiful energy coming in. Let's have a look and see past energy. What do we have going on here? Whoa, okay. And again, they said, just stop. Don't, don't shuffle anymore, okay? Past energy, let's get some cards out for future energy. Please, spirit guides and angel energy. This is very quick. Wow, okay. I like the way they very whoop with your reading. Sometimes I shuffle and shuffle. So let's have a look. Wow. Yeah, you release energy. Hmm. Archangel Ezreal. Um, the end of a phase or a situation. Hmm. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. Um, you know what? I can tell you one thing when I saw this card. Uh, the spiritual transformation comes from solitude. Um, I don't think we hardly ever grow spiritually in a party. Sometimes, it depends what happens in the party, you can grow spiritually. Um, what kind of party are you having? That's the thing, you know, you're drumming, drumming drums and laying in a bed of crystals. I don't know, if it's that kind of party, maybe you'll grow spiritually. Um, but if it's just like friends hanging out, a lot of talking, laughing, mm, depends what's happening there. Um, spiritual transformation has got to do with this card. I feel like that's attached to like the hermit energy. A time to move on. You may have gotten to a point actually in your kind of like existence where you were kind of like saying, you know, I'm kind of tired of being lonely. I'm kind of tired of being on my own because that release card is the death card in the traditional tarot and it does talk about a rebirth. It talks about a change that you want to have, um, a, a new outlook on life, a fresh attitude and what do I do to get this? That's the energy. Um, 
I think this has come from a lot of thought with inside of you. I think, I don't know if you like some of you, I'm just going to put this out there because for some reason, as for a guy just said dating app, I'm just saying some of you may have even registered on a dating app and sort of said, let me open myself up to meet other people. Very interesting. Others are just like, no, I think I'm ready for a relationship. Eesh, the spiritual journey, it's coming out three times. Traditional viewpoints and methods. This talks about wanting to get married, by the way. Um, spiritual organizations. This is the Hierophant energy. It always indicates as the card. I ask um, the, the spirit guides to show me when somebody is starting out on a spiritual journey. Seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For some of you, you opened yourself up to dating. Or you kind of like even said, look, you know, let me get out there. Let me start meeting people. You know, um... I'm picking up spirituality here, I'm picking up spirituality here, and I'm picking up spirituality here. Okay, so I don't know what you've been doing, but you may have been doing some kind of like, um, maybe reading or even just watching YouTube videos about spirituality. There's a feeling and a need for growth within yourself here. I feel like it's already occurring in you. This is very positive. Um, look at that. Yes. We've got four cards out that talks about spirituality. What have you guys been doing? Archangel Uriel brings in the light. Look at this, the sun. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Did you guys really put yourself out there on a dating app? I'm just asking because this is the energy of um, somebody taking a risk, you know, somebody getting out there. Wow. Jeez, my house is noisy. Gee whiz. You know? Even though you tell everyone, please don't make a noise, they make a noise anyway. Oh my lordy. Okay, um, so bear with me guys, bear with me. Uh, so this is uh, confidence in yourself. That's interesting. This is the card. The sun card is the card that I used to say spiritual enlightenment. So you've got this energy of like the hermit and the hermit goes within. It, it finds peace, but it also finds it answers and it leads to spirituality, awake, awake, awakening, 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 whatever. Yeah, awakening, awakening, hello. And then this is this release energy. Um, again, it talks about spiritual transformation. This card is the Hierophant. For me, it's the, the card that my spiritual um, team will use to show enlightenment or spiritual journey. Boom, the enlightenment card. Huge growth here. I don't feel like you've been in a, a now relationship uh, in the past energy. Let's have a look presently what we've got. Yo, whoa, six of air. Yeah, you may have met someone new. I feel like you've taken a chance on somebody. Or if it's not somebody new, you're having fun. Um, this is the Six of Swords energy. That's that boat that rows away into the distance. It's like I'm not going to keep myself in this energy. I'm not going to stay in a place where I'm not happy. Um, okay. For some of you, I'm going to put it out there, you may have been in a relationship where you were very lonely. I'm just going to put that out there. It's something that just sort of, they said there is some people out there who were actually lonely in the connection and they may have walked away. And if it's not that, it's you guys making that change that is needed to open up your world more. This is leaving behind stressful times. This is very positive. You know, open your heart with joy. This is the opening yourself up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. But I don't feel like it's taking a trip. I feel like it's taking a, making a change, making a change. This is very good. Look at that knight of air. Oh, the king of air, sorry. And we've got the world card. Oh my God. The sun card here, the world card here. Very positive energy. This is very positive energy. Look at this. Um, there's a person. I felt it immediately. This. I was like, yeah, brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. This energy is exciting. I'm just telling you. Um, you may have met somebody that is really getting you like in the high vibing feeling um this person is professional they educated or they working they got a job they they focused they they loyal as well and that's why i like that knight the king of air i keep saying knight of air i like the king of air it's because this person's got this um loyalty attached to it this is the person that the family turns to you know in the family this is the one they pick up the phone when something goes wrong oh gosh what do you what do i do what do i do and this person will advise okay go and do this go and do this that's why it says brilliant impartial professional and diplomatic may even solve fights in the family when there's a drama 
we're going to call this person. This is a very exciting person to have met. If you have met someone, look at this. My goodness gracious, the world card. Archangel Michael. Job well done. And again, it comes out. I love when they do this. Look at this. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. And boom, what did I tell you guys? You got something going on in your energy. The path towards enlightenment. It is this path that you've been taking. The, I feel this is work that you've been doing. Enlightenment, 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 enlightenment. The path towards enlightenment. Spirituality all the way, leading somewhere. You know when you take responsibility for your own energy and you take responsibility for how you feel on the everyday basis. You take responsibility for the outcome of your life. And the choices we've made, you know, as we make wrong choices and we take that responsibility. You can't always blame other people for it. You have got to take your part in everything that you've done and that has occurred to you, honestly. And um, when you do that, that is a path to enlightenment. When you look into yourself, you get to know who you are. You work on yourself on every level. It's usually got a pretty positive outcome. And the positive outcome is showing all over the place here. This, I feel like you've met somebody new after being alone for quite some time. Whew, I'm so excited for you guys. I'm just saying I love it. Why not? Why not? Let's have a look and I want to see. I don't think I'm going to actually see a person's energy there, but I'm going to ask here for them to show us this person. I'm curious to see a bit more into them. Um, let's have a look. Anything they want to show us. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> ah, look at that. Nine of Cups energy. This is the card. This is the card for the past. This is the card where you don't do anything. <laughs> it's what led you to make a decision to do something. That's the card when, um, you know, you don't get yourself out there. You kind of like get a bit stubborn. You kind of like don't want love. You kind of like say, I don't want love. I don't want to be with anyone. I'm fine just the way I am. A little bit, I'm going to be selfish and keep myself to myself. And it's, it's not bad. You know, there's times that we need to hold ourselves to ourselves. It's positive because at the end of the day, we have to be, there's times, and people find this very hard to understand, there are times you need to be alone and it's not sometimes fun. Sometimes we think we want to be alone and then when we get to be alone, we realize it's not so much fun. And But those are the times you get to know yourself the best. This is also an energy of not like making any moves of standing still, of not like getting yourself out there. This is what has led to all of this happening around you. It led to spiritual growth because you were alone. It led to you to actually be forced to make a move, to change something in your life. And I don't know what you did. Tell me what you did. You know what I mean? I also want to know, how did you do this? How did you like open yourself up? And what did you do? I'm curious because it's very positive, very positive. This, this person's energy. Whew, I'm so curious to see what you're dealing with here. Mm, okay. I'm just going to put this one out. That is the Two of Pentacles energy. Um, this person is willing to change something for you. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know, guys, if this person is involved with someone else. Or if they're not involved with someone else, um, they have come to the realization about something. It's for a small bunch of you, but I'm not really feeling it too much here. It's it's very small percentage. Um, I kind of like feel the energy as in percentages as to the group of people I'm talking to. I got to tell you, it almost feels like for some of you, this person may be going, I'm leaving someone for you. Okay. For the other bunches of you, for the bunch of you, you know, and um, for the rest of you. It's like this person um, realizes they've got a lot on their plate. Um, I told you about their energy. This is the go-to person. This person can be quite um, high up in their career because that's, that's one of the most strongest cards with regards to career here. Hey? Um, I think second to the King of Pentacles would be like the highest and this would be a second. But it's this person might get to King of Pentacles energy, male or female energy. The thing is what you need to know here, um, they're very busy. And not only with regards to work, um, they put a lot on their plate. With regards to friends and family, like I told you, everybody turns to this person. With you entering into their life, um, I feel like they know they're going to let something go. It's not you. Don't worry, it's not you. They're going to have to simplify things just a little bit here. They might end up saying um, uh, maybe to their family, okay, I can't 
do that now you're going to have to ask my brother or my sister or the auntie or the uncle to go do that because I am um, yeah my time you remember something if this person is single it's almost like the family has access to them at any given time for assistance or whatever but if they start getting into a serious relationship things are going to change they're going to have to put focus onto the relationship it's there's an energy of maybe this person being traditional as well because I know in my own country, um, a lot of people are traditional to the point where, um, you know, the people are doing so well, they actually look after family and everything at home. You know what I mean? They'll send money and they'll time and effort and all those things. And sometimes when they get in the relationship, you know, that's why sometimes the daughter-in-law or son-in-law is not always the most loved. You know what I mean? Because now the energy has to now move to another person and it's normal for that to happen. So this person is aware of that and they are willing to do so because this is them releasing. Um, they, it's almost like I feel like it's their time. They need to make time and space for you, but they are doing that. I really like this. Let's get out um, spirit guide advice with regards. To, okay, they've shown me a card with regards to the next three months. Um, basically just an overlook here the four of pentacles has come out in the reverse position and this is your energy um, they are asking you not to be too scared okay because there's an energy of you worrying a little bit not now now it's fun now it's good but moving into the next month or so um, I think yes you will fall for this person um, heart mind body soul the works and it's scary <laughs> okay it's scary uh, I'm gonna tell you something here when that card came out I looked straight there okay and I was looking something interesting I'm looking at the trees in the background here it's very gloomy and doomy my vibe I'm just saying I like misty forests I'm just saying anyway so um that that is your past gloomy not really gloomy but kind of mysterious I think it's what you ran away from in the past from getting hurt um what people did to you there was no growth there uh, in a past relationships there's no springtime you know there's no flourishing everything in that forest is not alive it's not living so you never grew from this and it's cold it's lonely and um, i think you got hurt from that kind of situations falling in love here is going to bring the fear of hell out of you it's going to make you get really nervous you are going to get scared that you may get hurt again by this person and um your spirit guide just said uh there's this energy of flight or, f or fight you know that adrenaline that comes it's almost like at any moment you can go back to solitude i'm just saying you know um at any moment you can run away this is not their energy this is you okay there's a fear here um if you get the slightest bit hurt you can just retreat completely backwards and they want you not to panic okay with that four of pentacles coming out in the reverse position sometimes it's the freak out mode that we all get into you know when we freak out unnecessarily trust me i'm the number one freaker out okay i know so um they just want you to be aware don't freak out too quickly don't be um scared away because it seems very positive. We are going to look into the next three months um, in the extended just to see if there is anything for you to freak out about. I, I'm feeling quite positive about it. I like the vibe of this person in present moment. So we'll see in the next three months if there is a reason for you to freak out. Okay, there we go, my Aquariuses. I am sending you all my light and love. Thank you for watching. Bye.